Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of ForgeTube. Today we have a special video of a city called City of Chronopolis. And as I'm starting, it looks like there's a sidewalk here. That's a street all the way up there. As I walk over here, I can see a tank. And tanks are friendly if they're on your side, but if they're not on your side, then you should avoid them. And uh, over here, it looks like we have a parking garage. And I'm just going to keep walking on the sidewalk to keep it um, authentic, I want to say. And uh, I'm going to cross the street here. I always look both ways before crossing the street, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to get hit by a runaway tank. And, uh, oh, I like this. It's like a little garden centerpiece here in the courtyard of what appears to be another garage filled with one warthog a goss warthog to be exact that's not very efficient for this large garage i must say but still it's pretty cool now as we walk back up the sidewalk and cross the street again remember to look both ways and I'm just gonna walk up here, and it looks like another warthog. I like how the warthogs are just placed randomly around the map. And, uh, ooh, a concussion rifle. I do enjoy these. And, uh, back to reality for a second. I'm just gonna keep walking on this sidewalk, and it looks like tunnels to my right. And, uh, ooh, more tunnels, and, uh, this looks like the entrance to a building. And, uh, ooh. This is very nice signs. Gotta say, I love the detail. And, ooh. This must be a house for invisible people. And they're invisible things, because all the furniture is invisible. It must be hard to find the couch. So now we're gonna get out of this invisible house and keep walking down the street. Now, over here, we have, oh, another goss hog with tunnels behind it. Very interesting. And, oh, what is that up there? I know I broke my own rule of looking both ways, but come on, you guys are probably getting sick of that. So now we're in another parking garage with mongooses in it, and I'm just going to go up to the second level to see what I saw from afar. And looks like I have to jump up here, but that's okay. Oh, it looks like a shade turret. So you can shoot all the jaywalkers, like me, that just run across the street without looking. And, you know, uh, I really enjoy city maps. They are probably one of my favorite kinds of maps. So if you want to send in the city map, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, it's just going to be a long video depending on the size of the city. As you can tell, this video is really long. Because, of course, it's a large city. And over here, we have a plasma pistol. Yeah, that was well worth the walk up here. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I was expecting a sniper, like that one over to the left. And now I will take a leap of faith. Ow. Okay. No more leaps of faith. They hurt. So now I'm going back on the sidewalk here, going down. And I think I've already been here. Yep. So I'm gonna go up here. And probably look both ways again and get across to here. And I wonder what could be up here. What's over this crest? I wonder what. Oh my. It's another tank. How interesting. Now we continue walking on the sidewalk, which is very nice. I like the sidewalk idea. Keeps players in line. And we're walking behind this wall, and see something nice and purple over there. I'm gonna run over to it another building with no entrance and it looks like we have a revenant and a ghost 
And oh, that's the five minute mark. I guess I'm almost done here. Better wrap this up. Uh, I'm just gonna show you all this last bit up here, and then uh, we'll get to the more exciting parts of this video. Now I'm gonna get up here, and we can see the sights and like you, it's it's very pretty up here. You can see all the shades of gray throughout the city, and I'm just gonna blow up that tank because that's what I feel like doing right now and I feel like that would wrap up this part of the video very nicely. I hope you all enjoyed watching.